is election day in the U.S. How are we all coping with that? Well, we're coping and lots of support to my American friends and from abroad and just know that it's on the minds of people everywhere too. Also, my mom is getting a new knee today, so we're feeling, I'm feeling a little anxious about multiple things. So how are we coping? We have got a pumpkin muffin, one of the last that I baked this season, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to eat in fall, and also my second coffee. So cheers, prost. I'll be enjoying that. And we have been doing a little bit of shopping, perhaps, for useful things, but or maybe just a little retail therapy, um, some things I've been researching and planning for a while. Still loving the octopus fluids that I picked up earlier this fall. The document inks are running so smoothly. They're so, um, I don't have much experience evaluating inks. It's I'm not a critique. I'm not sponsored. I've never received any of these things as gifts. They're just things that I'm using, have researched, and I'm enjoying. Those document inks are working out so well that I decided to try some more octopus inks. One regular formula, so not waterproof or resistant or no claims to be, and then one write and draw ink that should be pretty highly water resistant and can be used in fountain pens and also for drawing with brushes or um, dip pens or things like that. So it's going to be kind of a mix, a fun mix of old and new today because I've got these new inks, but then also some, both are actually would be considered vintage, I think, but older fountain pens that one is a Parker that my girlfriend received from her grandmother as a set but also had a, either a ballpoint or a rollerball pen also with it perhaps never used I just love this fiery lava print perfect for the season and she was excited to let me try it out and use it. And so for that reason, I picked up a little converter for that. Hopefully that works out. We will try it out. Oh, I like it. So, and then we have this trope pen, which also having heard of my new hobby of status, I guess, my girlfriend's father we were playing with pens at his house last time we were there. He has some really cool um, Mont Blancs. And this guy, which actually is no longer made, so I feel actually <laughs> it looks a lot like a, what was it, Parker 51. I was doing research, but it is a troll pen. And they only made this guy, the scholar, I believe it's called, in the mid 40s to 50s post-war and it has a really cool hooded nib that looks a little bit like a bird and also a, an ink window it's a piston filler which I was so so excited about too it writes really really smoothly and it has this cool green ink window and so that is what inspired the purchase of this gentle sort of water soluble plastic groom um, moss green so moss green so we'll see we'll fill it up today and also try to put the red turtle into the fiery writer and see how it goes this is totally not um, you know my profession I'm not a fountain pen collector <laughs> or anything like that. It's not a review, but it is some fun creative tools that I'm enjoying 
lately and therefore want to share with you on the chance that it also inspires your own creating and explorations. So waste not, want not. I've got some paper that I used actually to dry out. I cleaned this guy out first. So that was drying there and we'll use it as a to catch any renegade ink. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's open up the green. Got a cool classic sort of ink bottle look and you can tilt them to fill as it gets low. And we'll see if we ever get low, but I'm doing my best. Actually, working right along, I've done several fills of the black in my Lamy. And a couple actually of the violet, I believe, too. So I'm gonna kind of fill all the way down. necessarily going to fill it way, 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 way up. I just want to get some in there and play. Ooh. I'm hoping it's fairly dark and alligatory, but also maybe has some shading that we can play with with water. Since it's water soluble, we can go in with the water brush later if we wanna try to sketch with that. And also just in writing, it's cool to see a little bit of variation in colors. I'm learning. Great. very lightweight but has a nice metal cap that gives it more heft and is so we'll try it with some longer writing sessions but it's so comfortable so far to write with um yeah really a smooth smooth smoothie as far as i can tell so the write and draw should be cleaned well between uses because it's a pigment ink like the document inks, which actually I haven't had any problems so far with any drying up or clogging or anything like that. But one should regularly clean either the sort of feed and nib of a pen that you're using with that, or also carefully the, of course, the dipped nibs and things like that. I'm going for a red that's dark, like a cranberry, or like a blood red, not like a correction ink from school red, like a cranberry, like a wine Merlot or something like that for Christmas. Oops, and I better get this guy ready too. It's very cute. May not be comfortable for longer writing sessions because it's so small, but we'll just see. So does that fit? Seems to fit. It's so tiny. Well, that don't fit. <laughs> so I need a different size converter for that. I knew I was running the risk of that ordering it, but um, it's supposed to be from Parker it is, but this one's just particularly um, diminutive. Foiled. Okay. Well, plan B. I do look forward to using this guy in the future, but <laughs> considering it wasn't the very, I mean, it has special 
sentimental value, but it wasn't a very expensive, you know, valuable pen in the first place. Let's see. I want to try to look at that. Project Sun. Yeah. Looks, works like a converter, twist. La la la. Pretty smooth functioning. Too bad it doesn't fit on there. So instead, I'll be trying this red out with a newer pen. I think I've just about written through this, yeah, through this cartridge. So once that happens, I'll clean it out and refill this little um, peony blossom Kaweco Parquet with that. So to be continued, a little ink and writing utensil fun to fuel creative practice slash divert from current events. Hope you are doing well, taking care of yourself, doing healthy habits that you know help you feel happy in the darker months and at stressful times such as at election season and whatever else we have going on in our lives. There's a lot and I'll be thinking of you during that. Before I go, let me just get a little test of this, see how we're going. It might be a huge mess since we just dabbed that off, but let's see. Mm. Yeah. Dark. Let's look. Ooh, we got a little squeaking on this Cody paper. <laughs> Whatever the people do to the. Oh, that doesn't look good. Looks sort of like a green bottle or. I'm happy so far. So, lots of love, and I'll see you again soon.